Hey guys, Sensei is here. Now in this video I wanted to talk about fears and phobias and specifically what are the differences between fear and phobia and which one is which. Uh, so I decided to talk about this because I recently was like searching on the internet uh, if I have like a fear or a phobia and then I was like well I am confused a lot of other people are confused why should I not make a video about it and I have made I have done some research uh, I feel very smart and let's get on with the video first let's start with the definitions fear an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger pain or harm phobia a type of anxiety disorder defined by a persistent fear of an object or situation. Already from the definitions, you can see the difference. Phobia is much stronger than fear. Secondly, let's talk about symptoms. Now, uh, symptoms for phobia. Shortness of breath or smothering sensation, palpitations, pausing hearts or accelerated heart rate, chest pain or discomfort, trembling, or shaking, feeling of choking, numbness of tingling sensations, hot or cold flushes, sweating, nausea or stomach distress, feeling unsteady, dizzy, lightheaded or faint, feelings of unre unreality or being detached from yourself, feelings of losing control, going crazy or dying. Yeah, so f just from that list you can see that phobia is just over over everything now symptoms of fear on the other hand are experiencing butterflies feeling nervous feeling a little queasy now here is the second difference now i want to make a little pause and uh, have like an interaction with my viewers so i want you to look at that uh, list of symptoms uh, again I, like i will put in the description like all the symptoms so it's just gonna be easier and if you think that you have like a phobia then uh, you just go ahead and uh, go through that list and figure out uh, what happens to you when you see like the subject of your phobia and if you do have a phobia and you want to share it why not anyway let's continue it is very common to feel a little bit anxious before uh, nights before a long flight a little or feel a little bit dizzy while looking down from a high building but uh, for, for most of us those feelings are temporary and manageable however for those people who have phobias those this unease becomes a persistent and all-consuming anxiety with the power to turn into overwhelming panic I feel like these glasses make me look smart so I will wear them for the rest of the video. Phobias come in three different forms. Number one, specific. Uh, this is when there is a specific object or situation that causes the fear, such as dogs, heights, or flying. Fear, uh, form number two is social. These phobias revolve around social situations and are linked to social anxiety disorder. And number three, Agoroph agoraphobia. This phobia is the fear of being in a place or situation that is perceived to be hard to escape from. So what causes phobias? Uh, phobias may, emer may emerge during childhood, pop up randomly in adulthood, or even uh, occur as a result of a traumatic event involving this subject. Research has shown that uh, phobias could be linked to genetics, brain chemistry, and gender. Apparently, women are more likely to suffer from phobias than men. Fear is a built-in mechanism with which we're all equipped. Fear is a normal human emotional reaction. Even as babies, we possess the survival instincts necessary to respond when we're in danger. A fear reaction happens whenever, as I said before, we're in danger, or we're dealing with something new that seems potentially dangerous so i think you all know about that fight or flight uh, reaction which our body kind of produces when we sense danger now fight or flight is basically means what is what it says so you either have to fight off the danger or flee away from the danger so like run away from it 
Now this reaction, fight or flight reaction, comes usually at sudden, sudden reactions, sudden dangerous, like you see a bear, like it suddenly, you didn't know that it was gonna be there, bam, fight or flight reaction just appears just like straight. Uh, now, there were a lot of stories about, uh, like, different situations like this. For example, a man was running away from a tiger and he jumped over a three meter tall fence. Or a woman whose baby got stuck under a car who just, like, picked the whole car up just to get her baby. Now, this happened because of adrenaline that our nervous system produces. The fight or flight uh, response involves uh, higher heartbeats and more blood uh, flow to our large mus muscles, which will enable us to respond better in an emergency. Although it is normal to experience fear in uh, dangerous situations, with phobias, fear and danger are greatly, greatly exaggerated. For example, uh, it's natural to be afraid of a snuggling dog but it is irrational to be afraid of a small tail wiggling dog that just runs around like this big for a fear to be considered a phobia it has to just pass that level of extreme and it has to distract person from his normal life now we got to uh, phobia part. Now, a phobia is an intense, unreasonable fear of situations, objects, activities, or persons where the fear is far out of proportion to the actual danger or ha harm that is possible. And the fear and distress is so intense that the person will try to do everything to avoid the object that they fear of and will eventually start thinking about encountering this subject, if it's possible to encounter the subject in a given situation. In fact, if you have phobia, you mentally realize that it is unreasonable, unreasonable, but you just can't control it. The main symptom, symptom of this disorder is the excessive unreasonable desire to avoid the feared subject. Some individuals can just simply avoid the fear and then suffer a small type of anxiety and they they will not, like, their day, for example, will not be ruined after they encounter their phobia. But others severe suffer fully-fledged panic attacks with all the associated disabling symptoms. If you're still unsure about, like, what are the differences between those two terms, then let me give you a small example. Now, there is a phobia called claustrophobia, which is a fear of being enclosed in a small space or room and having no escape. On the other hand, there is a fear, like, the same kind of fear, but there are a lot of differences between them. As an example, I will take my mom. Uh, whenever we go to like different water parks and stuff, uh, she will never go w with us to, you know, those like uh, closed or water slides. She will never go on them because she just doesn't like being in small enclosed spaces. But on the other hand, my mom loves traveling to different countries, which means that she has to use an airplane and she's completely fine with it. Now, this as is an example of a fear, not a phobia. Another example is, uh, I have a friend and she once she said to me that she has a phobia of mice. Now, the weird part is that she has a sister who has like pet mice in, in her room. And I told her, like, I asked her, like, well, why is that? And she was like, well, I don't like meeting them in the wild. This is an example of a fear, not a phobia. If you had an actual phobia of mice, then you would even be afraid of those pet mice in your sister's room. Now, I decided to talk about this because uh, I hear a lot of people on a daily basis just messing up with those terms like 
they use phobia instead of fear or fear instead of phobia and it makes just first of all no sense second of all it's incorrect and third it just makes me weird for some reason like makes me feel weird i don't know why but after i've done some research on those topics uh, i realized that there is actually like a big difference between fear and phobia now i decided to talk about this topic because i hear a lot of people on a daily basis using wrong terms for different sentences for example they use fear instead of phobia or phobia instead of fear and uh, i wanted to make this video just to make it clear for everyone that what is what are actual differences between fears and phobias and that is the end of my video i hope that you have enjoyed this video and i hope that this video actually helped you and uh changed your mind about fears and phobias uh if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you're new to the channel of course subscribe for future videos uh and i will try because it's like october and like halloween is coming uh i will try and kind of make like scary types videos i don't know i will see about that but the uh i'm not sure to be honest but uh yeah uh, i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye hey guys so this is a quick bit after the video in which i just wanted to apologize for for looking into my computer screen most of the time. It's uh, because I have wrote a script on it and I was unable to learn my scripts because I couldn't, I had a lot of stuff to do this morning. Last week I had school and it was just chaotic. Uh, so I apologize for that. Once again, it is my fault. The next videos will be more, more thought through. Uh, yeah, so I hope that you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next video. Bye.